Things have been a bit busy the last couple of weeks, so I haven't had a chance to get out and shoot as much video as I'd like to. So what I thought I would do this week is show you guys a few clips from back when Wendy was visiting of her shooting a gun for the first time. Means is the muzzle of this gun is where the danger comes from, right? So you never want that muzzle of the gun to point at anything that you're not intending to shoot, right? When we were out camping, she told me she had never shot a gun and she really wanted to learn. So I got a hold of my buddy Casey from the Coyote Works channel. The third or the fourth rule, the final rule is be sure of your target and what's beyond. And that's just about, you know, so here we're going to be shooting at that target and we can see that we're shooting into a hillside. We can see everything on that hillside. Casey is very educated in the shooting sports and he's a really good instructor. Casey started by spending a lot of time just teaching her how to safely and efficiently pull her weapon from the holster, breaking the entire movement down into steps. So when you pick up a gun like this to get it working, what you would do is you would take a magazine, insert it into the gun, and then pull the slide back and let go of it. Okay, so we're just gonna work on this a little bit. But the first thing that I'm gonna have you do is um, put this gun in, in your holster. So you take the gun, you know it's empty, finger off the trigger, you hear it snap like that. Now just pull on it a little bit. So you see how it's locked in there? In your case, your finger's gonna go on that little button. And then you're gonna pull the gun straight up, rock your elbow back, and then your hands would come together and then you push it out towards the target. And then to put it back in the holster, you go just the opposite. You bring it back to your body. If you, I have to clear my shirt, you don't have to. So I'm gonna clear my shirt, rock the muzzle down and go right back in the holster. Okay, come to your side. One more time, one, two, three, four. Three, two, one. Perfect. Three it was hands. breezy that day, so it was really difficult to get good audio, which is really a shame. Shoulders kind of rolled forward. Yes, just like that. Once he was confident that Wendy could pull her weapon and do the basic steps, like load a magazine and ratchet the slide, she took her first shot. You're gonna rack that slide back and let go of it. Okay, so now it's all ready to shoot, so just don't touch the trigger until we make sure you're all set. Okay, so this front sight right here, I want you to put that right in the center of that target. And when you're ready, just squeeze the trigger nice and slow. Wendy had told me she had never shot a gun, and even the thought of one being around made her nervous. So you can definitely see she's a little leery of the situation. But with the way Casey taught her and the repetition of the exercises, she got more and more confident as the day went on.
By the end of the session, Wendy had fired over 200 rounds, and Casey and I were extremely impressed with how her confidence and accuracy improved over the course of the day. check the mag well. Now you can drop your slide and holster. Yep. And holster and you know you're holstering it. Empty. After the shooting was over, Casey spent some time teaching her how to tear a gun down and perform general maintenance on it. Is you're gonna rack the slide back and then point it in a safe direction and pull the trigger. Okay, now wrap your hand around. So, yeah, yep. And then feel how, if you, yes, exactly, but not so far. You only need to let it, let it go forward. And just squeeze it so it just comes, like that much is all you need. Now pull down those. Just like, yeah, perfect. Okay, so now, you're done with this. You don't take this any further. So now with this light in your hand, you're just gonna grab this at the back and pick up on it. Okay, now you can pick up, grab right here, and pick up on that. And pull slide it back towards you. And now you feel stripped of the gun. Now you put that one back together. So, not only did you fire your first gun today, but you've done pretty much everything there is to do to two completely different guns from two completely different manufacturers. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. hmm. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we finished out the day with her getting a few shots in with Casey's AR-15. All in all, I was extremely impressed with Wendy that day. She went from a person that was scared to know a gun was even around to handling one confidently. I think all that know her should be extremely proud of her. I also want to thank Casey for taking the time to instruct her. If you haven't checked Casey's channel out, I would encourage you to do so. He has a lot of good videos ranging from camping, shooting, and wilderness survival. You can find a link to his channel in the description. Yep. Mm. And this one's different. It's oh, a no. little bit different, but not that much. So now you'll take out the, that's the recoil, that's the guide rod and the recoil spring, just like in the Glock. It's a different recoil spring than I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Not that I've opened up a shit ton of guns, but I've never seen one like this that. This one's dirtier. <laughs> are, you, are you judging my guns? <laughs> 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 this never been shooting before. <laughs> like, calling me out on my dirty guns. <laughs> everything I've done for you. <laughs> okay. So pull, pull your barrel back out of that one. I really want to thank you for watching this video. Please take the time to like, comment, and share. 
as your interaction really motivates me to continue to produce this type of content. If you'd like to become a sponsor of the channel, click the Patreon link in the description to find out how. And I'll see you again outside.